you're wondering what my first song is on my awesome running playlist. It's Living on the Edge by Aerosmith. And if you really listen closely to the lyrics, which I usually don't, but there's something wrong in the world today and I don't know what it is, couldn't be more true because we're all living on the edge. So let's go for a run. Sean, wake up. Sean, wake up. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's 3.30. I gotta test out the night vision. I was dreaming. You're dreaming? What were you dreaming of? It's summer. Summer? <sighs> Hasn't been summer in months. Uh, five more minutes. Okay, five more minutes and then we'll go. <laughs> finally deployed our flopper stopper, which is our stabilization at anchor. As you can see, our anchorage is totally not protected. Um, the wind was supposed to be pretty light, so it wasn't too bad, but this morning the roller started coming in. So we put out our big flopper stopper and it was like a night and day difference. It totally worked. We had a smaller one that we are gonna donate or give away to somebody at our marina. Uh, if you want a flopper stopper, it's all yours. And uh, now we're just gonna pull this heavy duty big one out of the water. I'm gonna loosen the bow line and allow the boom to come back. I want you to be here to that vertical topping lift yeah. line, just to be able to catch it and allow the pole to slowly come back and rest against the boat so it doesn't hit the boat. Okay. I don't have that topping line the right height to go into the socket, so you're just, you're just gonna help catch it so it doesn't, the pole doesn't sl it's slam, slam against the boat. Against the boat. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm just gonna hold it here? No, it's good now. It's good? Yeah. Okay. How heavy do you think it is? Well, the resistance of the water right now, too. Yeah. But by itself, it's probably 30 pounds. 30 pounds? shot, right? It also wouldn't be a day pulling up anchor without an inspirational message from Dove Chocolate before moving on to our next stop. Our next stop is Roche Harbor on San Juan Island, just a short and scenic seven nautical miles from Satellite Island.
hope you find. Some animals. What do you think they are? Goats or deer? I think deer. Those are there's some running along the road. <gasps> They're running? Yeah. I just was out with the binoculars and I first thought they were the, the one on the shore was a deer. And then looking through these, I think they're goats, but I don't know. But they're everywhere. They're like lining the hill, which makes me think they're goats. So cool. We're going to get a little closer and try to see what these are. But we've never seen anything like this in the San Juan Islands, so it's pretty cool. Located just north of Roche Harbor, Spiden Island used to be a hotspot for big game hunting throughout the 1970s and 80s. But when this unique island was purchased back in 1997 by the founder of Oakley, as in the sunglasses, it became home to many unique animals, like these mufflin sheep from Corsica, not goats after all. This was quite an unexpected but exciting sight to see from the water. Sun might come out, you never know. Yeah, about five o'clock. Yeah, it's all right though, we'll take it. Where are we headed? Uh, for a walk and then to the market, just for a look. See, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta go look at some. That's a cool boat over here for sale. Why are you looking at boats for sale again? Uh, yeah, always looking. <laughs> the cool boat for sale, among many here in Roche Harbor, is this striking northern marine. While we're certainly not in the market for a new boat, we like to look and place bets on stats like overall length, age, and most importantly, the list price. I was undefeated in this game until today. Whatever, I put you in the ballpark. So he won, 1495. I guess it's a steal compared to 1795. Well, if you're in the market for a Northern Marine and you got 1495, there you go. Still take freedom any day, but looking at boats is always fun. So because I was right, I win the boat, right? Know what the deal was? No, you never said what you wanted to win. I said I want the boat. And do you have your Powerball ticket? Uh, yeah, I haven't checked it yet. Though. You haven't checked it. Okay, well, <laughs> there's still hope. Yeah. So I'm telling you there's a chance. walk. We didn't get as far as planned, so after getting a few provisions at the general store, it was back to freedom to check on that Powerball ticket.
run to deliver our uh, recycling or drop off our recycling at the recycling bins. And then I'm gonna go for a run. Oh, we got a packed day. We're gonna go to West Cafe Shellfish Company and hopefully relive our experience from way back in the day when I had an oyster the size of my head. And then uh, lots of other things. So boom, boom, boom. First up, recycling. Second up, run. And then uh, get back to the boat and get the fun started. But man, isn't she pretty? Marlinda, guys out there cleaning, tough job. didn't know about the map my run app it's an awesome app and I use it every time we go somewhere new you can literally log in it notices where you are and it'll suggest any routes that people have created or that are kind of common run or walking routes so here in Roche Harbor there is a very common route it's just under three miles that's what I typically do I usually check the app to see if there's any new routes created I could just create and save my own but uh, it's a good app if you're a runner or a walker or a hiker and you want uh, to know some nearby routes and how long they are. And if you're wondering what my first song is on my awesome running playlist, it's Living on the Edge by Aerosmith. And if you really listen closely to the lyrics, which I usually don't, but there's something wrong in the world today and I don't know what it is, couldn't be more true because we're all living on the edge. So. Let's go for a run. Best part about running here in Roche is the big views. Woo! Garrison Bay back there. West Cap Bay over there. Always something to keep your mind active. Besides my good tunes, of course. Woo! If you happen to work up an appetite, there's no shortage of snack stops along this route. And if you work up a sweat, there's also a great cool down spot right on the way back to the marina. Let's see if it works this time. <gasps> yep. <laughs> that worked. Love the security system there. It's a pretty sweet house. I felt really good though after a run. It's nice to walk by there and get sprayed with their sprinklers. Okay, back to the boat. Time to get the day started. Okay, should we get you out of your jammies? Okay. And I think we go with, I still live with my parents. How about that, bud? Yeah? Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. You gave it the blessing. We'll go with that. And your jean jacket. And we'll save the Hawaiian for another day. And we will save your rash guard for another day. Maybe we'll leave that behind. All right, Sully's ready, I'm ready, Sean's ready. We're ready. Where we're, are we headed? We're going to West Cap Bay a Shellfish Company for some champagne, some oysters, some clams. Yeah, we got a res. Yeah, this is how every Friday should be. I know, Friday's on vacation. Definitely beat Fridays, not on vacation. Yeah. Turn the radio off. Turn the radio off. Should we put the flopper stopper out or? No. no? Bye. See you later, Freedom. It might not look like summer, but nothing screams summertime in the San Juan Islands 
quite like a dinghy ride to the Westcott Bay Shellfish Company, located in none other than, you guessed it, Westcott Bay. Whether you're a regular visitor to the San Juans like us or visiting for the first time, this is one of those places that should always be on the top of your travel itinerary. At the very least, you'll learn a little something about how oysters are harvested right here on the shores of the bay. Since the restaurant is reservation only at the moment, we got seated and wasted no time enjoying a few sips and a few delicious snacks. We highly recommend the steamed clams and famous grilled oysters. Whoa, these are like genetically modified clams. That's like a muscle. Mm -hmm. They're delicious, aren't they though? Mm -hmm. Sadly, they didn't have the ones as big as my head, but these ones were pretty amazing too. Oh. Should I go one bite? No, I have no idea. Then you need a knife. <laughs> and cut it like a I steak. think the last time I knew it. This is like a this is like a chicken finger. <laughs> oh my gosh. After wrapping up lunch al fresco, the sun finally made its afternoon debut, just in time for us to move on to our next adventure of the day. And on our way back to the dinghy, we even learned a thing or two about mussels. Apparently, they're mini water filtration devices. If you're curious like we were, here's a fun fact for the day. Mussels have two siphons. The incurrent siphon acts like a vacuum, sucking in water, taking in nutrients like algae and phytoplankton to grow and get their high protein content. Then they expel super clean purified saltwater back into the ocean via the excurrent siphon. One mussel can filter up to 15 gallons of water per day, while one oyster can filter up to 50 gallons of water per day. Who knew? Yeah. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. So we not only had a, an amazing lunch, we learned about mussels. They filter the water like nobody's business. That Who was knew? That pretty impressive. That was so impressive. And just one hour time. In one hour, they filter, what, what was it, 15 gallons of water? Yep, Oysters are 50 one, or one, one day. One mussel does 15 gallons per day. Yeah, and an oyster does 50. Yeah. So next time you see a mussel and an oyster, just thank them for all the work they do. Like, holy moly. So uh, where to now? Ready to go to the llama farm? To the llama farm. Because we hear they're the most eco-friendly animals around. Eat or the food, Tina. <laughs> Eat the food. Yeah, so we're going <laughs> to hit up the llama farm and then uh, don't know what we're doing after that but that should be pretty interesting Sally I don't think you're going to the llama farm no right. well, not even in his bag no I guess that's an option I well, we could call that. ahead yeah. thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell so you won't miss part two of our summer adventures in the San Juan Islands, when we meet some new friends, try a few new things, explore, and so much more. We'll see you next time.